I've uh, got the trailer up on uh, uh, on some uh, blocks of taking the wheels off. Uh, interesting thing was uh, I'd never had the wheels off. It's got brakes on all four wheels, although they didn't work. I'll get into those later and see what's going on. Uh, I have started removing the paint. I uh, haven't used any chemical stripper yet. Uh, I have just used uh, my high pressure washer. I uh, used a high pressure washer with a uh, with a uh, with a rotary head on it. Got uh, probably about 60% of the paint off. And then I was able just to take a small simple razor scraper and scrape a lot more of it off. Uh, it's uh, didn't have any primer on it so it really comes off easy just take this scraper and it just comes off very very easy uh, this is some pinstriping tape rolls up really easy so most of that's coming off um, the two doors on either side uh, the paint doesn't want to come off of those I've got some areas on the roof the paint's not coming off uh, I've got majority of the uh, paint off over on this side just a little bit left. I'll use chemical stripper on that uh, and uh, on the roof where it's left up there. Uh, everything's coming around good. Uh, I've got some scaffolding that I'm going to put up after I get all the paint off uh, down here with the scrapers and I'll start uh, some repair work up there and chemical stripping the top with uh, scaffolding in place. So uh, everything's uh, going well as far as getting it stripped and getting it ready to uh, put primer on it. I'm uh, cleaning up some uh, corrosion in this area and some rivets that were uh, corroded and I'm going to take the opportunity to show you uh, another uh, another tool I'm using from the aerospace industry. Uh, they're called Clecos. Uh, these are called Cleco pliers. Uh, this is the Cleco. As you can see, the metal popped out. Uh, these uh, expand when you release them, and you put them in your hole, and you release it, and it holds the metal down and in place, and uh, you can uh, shoot your rivets in here without uh, worrying about the metal being too far uh, too far out or bowed out. Uh, here's, here's one that I've already replaced, and um, it's, it's just another product from the aerospace industry in the sheet metal work. And I wanted to show it to you. It's a, a good tool to use if you're having to do uh, rivet work on your horse trailer. Uh, I was going to also demonstrate the uh, pneumatic riveter that I have. I had talked about it earlier compared to the hand tool. I can get my hose around here. Um, you can just press it in. And there you go. A lot easier than a hand tool.